Hi everyone, welcome back to Base Leg Aviation, Base Leg Maintenance here at the hangar. Just want to show you a couple of quick things here this morning. They have to do with the alternate air intakes on some of the RVs. So I'm going to turn this around and show you uh, what we've got here. So what you're looking at here is the alternate air system on one of the snorkel induction systems. This is a side by seven RV7. But what you'll see here on this, this is your alternate air. This normally gets pulled back if you need uh, alternate air, meaning maybe the air filter has got some blockage, ice or something else. It, there should be a latch mechanism right here at the top. You can see right there it's broken. So this thing is just sitting here vibrating. Eventually it's gonna break and come loose. And also this wire is just way too thin diameter to actually work properly. Let me take you over here and show you one that actually is done properly so you can see what we're talking about. Okay, here's one. You can see how this slides into the little thing at the top and then locks, okay? Right there, locks in place so now it doesn't vibrate. We've got a little thicker wire here and it's, it's out a little further here from the last anchor point. So the idea is the activation in the cockpit pulls this open and sometimes you got to pay attention and go reset them manually. They're not meant to be reset in flight. But what I would tell you is pay attention. This is a little galvanized piece of metal. And if it sits there and, you know, gets bent more than once or twice, this little uh, flange area here breaks off. And that's what you saw in the one that I just showed you earlier. So I'd encourage all of you to check those. You'll see this same setup on the uh, horizontal inductions, the ones that have the fab air box on the bottom uh, it actually uses the same kind of alternate air uh, adapter there